Hello amigos and hello friends, I'm Hulberto Solano and welcome to my new save, Locals to Legends. The plan is, with this, I'm taking over as Las Palmas manager and they're based in the island of Gran Canaria, just off the coast of uh, Africa and they're part of the Canary Islands as a whole. Uh, this challenge is a bit similar to the Basque region challenge, uh, as in I can only buy players who are born on the island of Gran Canaria or have had a footballing education in Gran Canaria. Uh, this will go through the whole club from the first team, B team, there's also a C team as well as an under-19s team. So in a, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the whole club being players who have come through either the Las Palmas or the Gran Canarian uh, football in pyramid so any teams from Gran Canaria uh, so they could be for example they could be from England if they've come through the academy of any team in Gran Canaria then they'll come and play for us uh, and also there's another rule I'm putting in as well because at the moment there are players who aren't from Gran Canaria who've transferred to the club uh, basically first season I'll only allow to be able to play those players Second season, I will not be able to play any of those players at all. And third season, all of those players must have left the club. So, like I said, first season I'll be able to use them. But that isn't stopping me from selling them straight away. If I can get rid of them all earlier, fantastic, that's the plan. But obviously some sometimes you can't get rid of the players straight away. Or there isn't enough funds to, for me to go and buy replacements. Uh, for those positions so as i said as you can see here i've taken over as las palmas manager uh replacing pepe mel who was previously at west bromwich albion if anyone's interested in knowing um we've taken over on a three-year contract worth 11 grand a, a week so yeah we'll move on to the next one a bit of history about the club as well uh the chairman's miguel angel ramirez uh the club is a three-star reputation uh and we're predicted to finish 10th in the second division of Spain this season. The stadium is called the Estadio de Gran Canaria, uh, which was built in 2003. And the training facilities are average, good youth facilities though, but and adequate youth recruitment. So uh, with the money we uh, generate from selling players, we'll be looking to invest in the facilities because the best way to do this challenge is to get your own homegrown players to be the best they can be. So that is the overall challenge to try and improve that. Uh, and as you can see here, this, this side we've got here. So I know a couple of these players are from Gran Canaria and a few of them aren't. I can point them out to you now. Uh, Aitami, he's a defender uh, who is Gran Canarian. Castiano is a hold midfielder, as you can see, who's also from Gran Canaria. Uh, Pedri has come through the uh, uh, Las Palmas Academy, and but he's from Tenerife. But because he's come through... Uh, the academy he's able to play for us uh christian sedless i hope i'm pronouncing his names right as well if i'm not please let me know uh has also come through well he isn't come through the academy he came through real madrid's academy but he's from las palmas itself and with ruben castro as well he came through the academy and is also from the island as well so as you can see we've got a good core of players who uh, are from the island or come through the academy which is that's what we want and uh, how they want us to play. They want us to use the club's youth system, which I'm all for. I, I want to try and develop our own talents. And if we do sell them on for money, that means we can reinvest it in uh, bringing other players back and uh, other things like investing in the academies as well. Uh, they want us to play possession style football, which I'm more than happy to do because that's how I like to try and play football manager myself and play attacking football again. That's how I want to try and do it. Uh, they want me this season to be in the playoffs at minimum, which is very optimistic. Bear in mind, we're predicted to finish 10th, but we can give it a good go. And uh, yeah, they, eventually they want us to get promoted. Uh, let's skip through this bit. And yes, as you can see here, this is uh, what we currently got to do. But to give you a clue a bit more about Gran Canaria, let me just quickly get this up. So. As you can see, this is the map, of, pretty much the map of the world. And uh, as we scroll in around here, you can just about see a few islands. And yes, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. That is the capital city of Gran Canaria. As I said, just off the coast of uh, the uh, Western Sahara and uh, Morocco. 
And as you get a bit closer, you can start to see a few t t uh, places around. So we've got Tenerife, they're here. Uh, Fuerteventura. Uh, and some of the other islands around as well. So as you get a bit closer, you can start to see some of the towns. We'll have to search why... We, obviously we won't search it while you're on so we can get an idea of where these players come from so here we've got uh, Las Palmas that's the capital city of uh, Gran Canaria and that's where most of the players will be coming from uh, but then you've also got Taidi as well you've got Mas Palomas you've got Arguin and you've got Mogan as well so <clears throat> yes, yeah, some of these players do come from these areas for example Alglo Inn I think that's pronounced right I, I'm probably butchering it but so like i said please let me know uh but has the likes of uh david Silva comes from there and uh valoran as well obviously valoran's retired but he did come from this little fishing village in gran canaria as well uh taidi if you if swansea fans might remember him but there's a midfielder called Raque metha who played for them uh yeah he started off at las palmas and uh, he had actually uh went went on to Swansea from there as well and I think he's currently at Seville but he might be out on loan at Leganet but yeah he's originally from there as well and obviously you got some uh, like I said here before you got some great players who've uh, come from Las Palmas itself such as Jonathan Vieira, Jesse Rodriguez and more players from that as well so yeah uh, that's what we've got planned tell me what you think I look forward to hearing from you and yeah next time we come back we will be at the end of the transfer window no we won't we'll be coming back for the first game of the season hopefully I'll have some new players to show you uh, actually I'll quickly show you the squad now and I can uh, highlight the players who I know are from uh, Gran Canaria so we'll go in formation so at the moment we got no defenders Itami David is also from uh, Gran Canaria Cudibelo uh, Danny and Javier both twins uh, Killen and Fabio are they're definitely homegrown. I think they're uh, Grand Canarian as well. I think this guy was uh, Pedri is homegrown. Uh, Tanner and Ruben Clastro. So at the moment we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen players who are all from the island of Grand Canaria or come through the academy. So as you can see, we got a lot of players that we need to try and move on uh generate some funds maybe cancel some loans uh so yeah we can free up a bit of wages and try and promote the youth or bring some uh gener some players back hopefully we can get a couple of legends back in as well uh so yeah like i said thanks for watching uh we'll be hoping to release another episode later on today uh so yeah hopefully you enjoy it and i'll see you next time cheers bye